The Ring and the Cat Thomas plans to propose to his girlfriend. He bought a beautiful ring, but suddenly it disappeared. Let's watch the video to see what happened. Everyone, I have news for you. What is it, Daddy? Good news or bad news? Absolutely, it's a piece of good news. I'm going to propose to Miss Emily this weekend. <gasps> if she says yes, we're going to get married at the end of this year. Really? Why are you so rushed? I think she actually says yes. You are in a relationship for almost two years. I don't know. I'm quite nervous. I don't think this year is okay. You haven't prepared anything for it. I'm planning everything. No worries. Okay, okay, whatever you want. Aunt Kelly, I am going out with Linda. Okay, remember to come home before lunch. Sure. Hmm. Where is my daddy? He is going out in the early morning. Hmm, where is he going? Today he doesn't have to work. <coughs> Linda is waiting for me. See you later. Bye, Phoebe. Wow, that diamond ring is perfect. It extremely matches with Emily. Kelly, look! Wow, it is so pretty. Is that your proposed ring? Yes, that's it. Do you think Emily will like it? Definitely. This is the best ring I've ever seen. <coughs> Oops! Meow, meow! What are you doing here, bro? Come here. <coughs> Thomas, what happened? There was a cat inside our house, but he just jumped out through the window. Oh, he has come here so many times. I think he's a wild cat. I will close the window to avoid him coming again. That's fine, no worries. <coughs> oh my gosh, where is my ring? I don't know. I'm cooking in the kitchen. Where do you put it on? On this table? Maybe the kitten dropped the ring on the floor. Let me look for it. Yeah, let's look for it together. What happened? What are you doing, Daddy? I'm looking for the ring. The ring? The proposal ring? Oh my. Don't stand there. Come here and help me to find it. Okay. I can't find it. Shall we give up? Why can't we find it? The cat was just around here. Ah, it's because of the cat, I'm sure. He must swallow that ring. Are you sure you put it on that table? Sure. I put it here and then went to the bathroom. That's weird. I need to go out now. Kelly, please help me look for it. Sure, Thomas. You will not be able to find it. I'm sure the cat swallowed the ring. 100%. So, where do we can find that cat? Let me ambush on the garden. I saw him many times there. Okay. Then I can decoy him with my pate can. I will still look for it in the living room and the bathroom. I don't think it's because of the cat. What are you looking for, Aunt Kelly? I am helping your dad to look for something. My dad? What is it? It is the ring. Your dad bought it to propose to Miss Emily. 
Oh my, what a silly. Why can he lose an important like it? Did you drop home any time after going out with Linda? No, what's up, Aunt Kelly? Which shoes did you wear in the morning? Are that boots? Yes, they are. But I noticed that when you came back, you were wearing those sandals. No, how can it be like that? It is raining outside, so your shoes must be wet. But look, they are super dry. What do you mean? I do nothing with that diamond ring. Why do you doubt me? Why do you know that is the diamond ring? I think I have never told you that. Oh, my. The proposed ring must always be a diamond ring. Nothing particular. But... Look, everyone. I found this cat. He was playing in the backyard. Do you still believe it is in his belly? Yes, absolutely. I found him so the mission is completed a half. What is going on? I found this cat. We just need to wait for him to let the ring out of his stomach. That's so silly. I'm back in my room. Bye, Daddy. We have an empty room, so we can keep him there and wait. Okay. Kelly, please go to the pet shop to buy some pet food for him. The pet shop is at the end of the street. I'm going now. Quickly, Jack. Take a box for him to lay down. Which box, Daddy? Any cardboard box, and then let him do his mission. What should I do now? Should I give it back to Daddy? But how? If he knows I stole it, he will be angry with me. Ah, I know what I should do. Phoebe, what are you doing? Ah, uh, nothing. Why are you here? I forgot to bring him a cup of water. Give it to me, I can help you. It's late. You should come back to your bed. Daddy Thomas won't happy if he sees you here. I see. Phoebe, what do you think about Miss Emily? She is a good person. A pretty woman. Do you like her? So-so. I like her, but that will be super weird if she moves to our house. Why? I don't know. She will live in my mom's room. I don't think that's a good idea. My little girl, your mom moved out. She also has her new own room. Your dad needs to have a new life, and Emily is the one he loves at the moment. I know. When she moves in, can I still meet my mom? Yes, definitely. Okay, then I will give them my best wishes. Good girl. Kelly, did you find the ring? I'm so nervous. It's the limited edition, so... Daddy, look what I found! Slow down, Jack. You may be falling down. What is it, Jack? The ring! I found it in the cat litter box! Oops, that smell. I know, it's not really good now, but we can clean it! Do you think it works? We should try! We cannot do anything else. Okay, let me do it. Luckily, we found it. Thanks, everyone. You are welcome, Daddy! Have you ever invested in stocks with your friends? Let's watch the video and see a funny story of a group of four when they started investing in stocks. Hey guys, what are you doing? 
Just received the electricity bill this month, Josh. We are splitting the bill. Really? How much is it? Here is the bill. Check it yourself. Let me see. Oh my gosh. No doubt why all your faces are pale. Right? Why is the bill so high? Electricity price raised again. Haven't you watched the news? Raised again? What is happening? Everything raises these days. What are you doing, Samantha? I'm doing life budgeting again. I think it's time for me to ask for a pay raise. Okay, I was going to make money alone, but seeing everyone struggling like that, I couldn't stand it. Therefore, if you have money, let's invest in stocks. Invest in stocks? Why? I have an acquaintance who is a stock analyst. He said he had known a very good company. What company? I heard that company specializes in providing some sort of AI technology. It is predicted to grow very strongly. If we buy its stocks now, it will be profitable later. If there is a profit, how much will it be? About 10 times? Please be a little bit more specific. More specifically? I'm not sure. Everyone here has no idea about stocks. No matter how much I explain, you won't understand. Who told you we don't know about stocks? Do you know anything about stocks, Brian? I know a little bit. Buy low and sell high. But is it not obvious? Sure. It's best to do that, but it is advised not to be too ambitious. So just keep buying at a certain low point and selling when it is higher is enough, right? That's right. My father said this to me. We shouldn't hold stocks of companies that are going downhill. Why is that? Because if you keep engrossed with a company that is falling, one day that company really goes bankrupt, you will have nothing left. That's right. I heard that some people invested too much then lost and went crazy. I also heard another similar sentence. Comfort is better than pride. Solidity first. I see that everyone knows a bit about stock too. So, if you want to invest, tell me. Hey, Josh, I want to invest. Here's what I've got. Help me buy low and sell high, okay? Remember? Josh, I want to invest. But are you sure that the company won't go downhill? My mantra is comfort is better than pride. Solidity first. Please help me invest at the lowest risk. Day 1 I didn't understand anything looking at it. Does it increase? Yes. You already made an extra $1,000. Congratulations. $1,000 a day, huh? Lucky you. I would have borrowed more to invest and earn more. If it keeps growing like that, we're going to be rich, right? Hey, it increased a lot today. Do you think it won't drop tomorrow? Is it possible that the company will go downhill tomorrow? I'm not sure either, but at least it's growing from now on, see? Really? Will it continue to increase? I don't have ambition. I just want solidity first. So when it's reasonable, help me sell it, okay? And for me, just help me buy low and sell high. Don't forget. And me, I want to earn a lot of money. Please help me to make it 10 times more. Day 2 Hey, what's up? Why are you still awake? Josh, it decreased. What decrease? The stock. I told you yesterday it was going to decline. Ah, uh, wait for a few more days and see. What if it drops again? Should we sell it now? Just wait a few more days. But I don't have that money gain ambition. I just want certainty. Okay, I will sell it tomorrow, okay? How about the other two? No, they still keep it. Really? Oh, maybe I will keep it for a few more days then.
Day 3 Josh, the stock price decreased again. It has dropped for two days straight. Yeah, we should do something. Can you have a little patience? It's normal to have its ups and downs. But it has been down for two days in a row. This company is running downhill. We should sell the stock now. The company is still developing. Two days is nothing. I told you, just buy low and sell high. How simple is it? Huh. You all are so paranoid. That's all principle. Day 4 Josh! Josh! What's up? The stock price decreased again! Come on, be a bit more patient. There is no big loss yet. You asked me to wait every day, but I told you I just need certainty. I don't want to be risky. Okay, okay. I will sell it out for you. How about the other two? Have they sold yet? Nope, not yet. Okay, then. Talk to you later. Oh, no. It declined again, Brian. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do now? What's wrong? Bro, don't you notice the stock price declined again? Yeah, I know. Just wait a little bit more. Wait for what? For it to decrease even more? Why do we hold stocks from a company that is going downhill? Again, I told you several times that we have to buy low, sell high. Is that difficult for you? What's up, everyone? You're so noisy. You know what? The price continued to decrease. No! Sell it right now for me, Josh. I said I want money, but it has to be no risk. Ugh, you guys are so annoying. Keep repeating those nonsenses. What are you talking about? We should be the ones who get mad at you because of this loss. Okay, fine. I will send back to you the exact number that you gave me, okay? Will you sell the stocks as well? No, actually, I will hold yours. I hope you won't regret it. Weeks later. Brain, Lucy, and Samantha are investing stocks in their own ways. But the result is... Lucy, who is always afraid of investing in companies that are doing bad, eventually invested in a company that's seriously running downhill because she doesn't even know how to read a business report. Brian, who strictly follows the buy low, sell high principle, actually turned out to buy high, sell low because of his panic. And Samantha, who always mentions solidity first, turns out to have the most uncertain investment with her random portfolio. And me, who tried to hold the three stocks, have gained 300% profit on the investment. Life Then Now Samuel and Thomas, they are discussing the changes in their life. I suppose one of the biggest turning points in my life was when I moved from our hometown to the capital city. What happened at that time? I was 14 years old when I migrated. I had to leave my school, friends, relatives, known places, and start living in a place where I had no friends, no one to visit, and no known place for playing or outing. That should be a frustrating experience for you. But I made new friends very quickly, and my teachers were very helpful as well. But one problem is that I could not secure even a top 10 position in my new school while I was a top scorer in my previous school. I know that. You used to be a smart kid. Yes, I, so I started studying harder visit the library more, and read a reference book more than once. Do you think it was good for you? Now I think it was really good. I shrink my time playing games and took part in football. 
Well, those changes helped you study more, learn more, and remain healthy. Yeah, I found that some of the health-related problems that I used to have are no longer bothering me. Also, I'm so glad that I started reading books, as it gave a certain kind of confidence boost by teaching me a lot of unknown and amazing things about this world. For me, I think I am not healthier than I was about 10 years ago. Why do you think so? Lately, I have been so busy that I have not been taking enough time to exercise or cook healthy food. Do you think you will have a healthy diet soon? I am having a plan for it. I'm going to clean out my fridge, all of my favorite unhealthy foods, and begin cooking homemade meals. I think I will also drink two liters of water a day instead of soft drinks. To lose weight, I registered at my local gym and started to work out at least three times a week. I felt stronger and happier than ever before. I rarely got sick and my skin also looked brighter. I can see that on your face. I think I regained my self-confidence. I am now much more comfortable being photographed. When I was a teenager, I mainly subsisted on fast foods such as fried chicken, hamburgers, or crisps. Oh. I put on weight rapidly. Hmm. So I think now is the time to start my weight loss journey, or I will become overweight. That's true. We are older and we should be healthier. Right, okay. What about stress? Are you more stressed now than you were three years ago? That's a hard question. I'm probably about the same, so I wouldn't say that I'm more stressed now. But three years ago I was finishing my bachelor's degree, so that was also a stressful time. And lately I've been quite busy with my work, so I'm probably at the same stress level as three years ago. I think I'm now not as stressed as I was in the past, actually, because I worry less. So before I was more stressed because I worried about everything. And now I've learned to let it go. Let things go. I don't let them bother me. So how do you usually reduce stress? Actually, there are many things that can make me happy. Hanging out with friends and having some coffee or being given a small gift helps me let off some steam. Or just the feeling of trying a good dish brings me happiness. To me, participating in an outdoor of sport, such as basketball, is a great way to cope with stress. It refreshes my mind and cheers me up a lot. Besides, cooking delicious dishes for the family also helps me feel relaxed after stressful hours at my workplace. Perhaps now we have more stress because of the heavy workload and related responsibilities at the workplace. Some people may have to face problems related to the financial burdens in which they may not have enough money to pay for their increasing house rent. There's a lot more to think about in the future. We are older now, so we are more worried about money. But maybe in the next 10 years, job security, things like that. So sadly, I'm a little more worried about that. Right, everything will be fine. How about you? Are you more worried about your future these days? I'm quite sure. I have a good job and I like the place I live. So I don't feel too worried about what I will be doing next year or even seven years. But we should probably plan ahead a bit more. But anyway, what comes will come. Well, this is a healthy attitude to have. Are there any changes in our town? I think it developed significantly in the last 10 years. Did it become industrialized? Yes, it did. I think industrialization is beneficial to our residents and to the local economy since jobs have been generated. But it also brings so much pollution. I think we are paying the price now for converting our agricultural lands to industrial. Hmm. 
The living cost is now undeniably high too. Noise pollution is incredible. You know, now I am getting used to the crowd and noise in the city. So basically our city has progressed, but there are still underlying issues that need to be improved. Anyway, I think we are happier now than we were previously. Definitely, we don't have to think about studying at school anymore. Yes, and we are happy with our jobs, family, and friends. And I have more free time now, so I can spend more time on entertainment, too. Congratulations. It must help with the stress level as well. Yes, I think I'm having a balanced life. Topic. George had just learned painting from a good teacher, and he wants to share his artwork with his staff at the office. Let's see what happens, and learn how to use exclamation sentences together. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, boss. Good morning, George. Hello. You're looking good today, boss. Yes. Any good news today that makes you happy? Such beautiful weather today. I'm sure not just the weather makes you happy, right? Yeah, actually, I'm joining a painting class. Oh, really? You're such a diligent learner. Yeah, you always try to learn new things. Yes, I have been into painting for so long, but I didn't have time to learn. What made you do it this time? One of my friends introduced a really good teacher to me. He is so talented. You won't believe it. Really? Is he famous? You may not know him, but he is the teacher of so many famous artists. He is such a humble person. We are really looking forward to seeing your artwork, boss. Yeah, I believe your artwork will be amazing. Thanks, everyone. I will try my best. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. What is that, George? This is one of my paintings. I want to hang it on the office wall. Oh, really? May we have a look? Of course! Oh my gosh! Look how beautiful it is! Oh, wow! What a delicate abstract painting! What beautiful color work of art it is! Thank you everyone for your compliments. Well, what is it about, boss? It's an abstract painting, right? Um, I just wanted to create a picture with many contrasting colors. And the meaning behind it is... It feels like those colors are different personalities inside a person. How long did it take you to finish this artwork? Like, more than half an hour. Wow! So amazing! In such a short time? Yes. I'm not sure if it's good, but I like it. Of course, this painting is excellent. Look, this paint streak is so delicate. Yes, it has created a highlight for the whole picture, making the picture suddenly become very profound. But, but it's just a streak of paint that's left when I tried to clean the paint off the brush. Oh, really? That even shows how talented you are. Yeah, just with a simple act, and you generated such a profound brushstroke. Come on, everyone. You don't need to comfort and encourage me that way. I know I'm still not good enough. No, we are not lying. I know you all just want to motivate me. Boss, don't you believe us? Come on. A random brushstroke created a highlight for the whole picture. How silly it is. But... It's okay, everyone. I know I need to practice a lot more, 
but thank you for encouraging me. But I really like the meaning behind it, the different personalities inside a person. Yes, that sounds very artistic. But the way I convey it through the picture is a failure. But the initial idea is very important though. Many artists can't even have a good idea. Next time, I will show you truly beautiful artwork. Is it okay? Yes, sir. We always admire your progressive spirit. Now, it's time to get back to work. Yes. Exclamations with how. How plus adjective, adverb, plus subject, plus verb. Example. How beautiful it is. How talented you are. How silly it is. Exclamations with what. What, a, an, plus adjective, plus singular countable noun. Example. What a delicate abstract painting. What, plus adjective, plus uncountable, plural noun. Example. What beautiful, colorful work of art it is! Exclamations with so and such. So plus adjective. Example. So talented. So delicate. So amazing. Such a an plus adjective plus singular countable noun. Example. He is such a humble person. In such a short time, you generated such a profound brushstroke. Such plus adjective plus uncountable plural noun. Example. Such beautiful weather today. Valentine's Day. Trina shares her thoughts about this popular holiday. So, Trina, one day is Valentine's Day. Are you excited? No. That was a pretty direct answer. Why are you not excited? It's a holiday. It's a holiday for people that have other people. So, you're not happy because you don't have other people? I have other people. I have my sister, and my mom, and my dad, and my friends. But Valentine's Day is more of a holiday for people that have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or a wife, or a husband, or children as opposed to being a single person with nobody to share it with. But could you share it with your sister, or your mother? Or your father? I could. I could, and we do. We send each other gifts. We, well, this year, I won't be with anybody. But I get to celebrate it with my sister this weekend. Well, that sounds fun. It is. So, what kinds of things have you done on Valentine's Day in the past? Um, gone out for dinner, gone to a movie, had dinner at my parents' house, had dinner at my grandparents' house. That's interesting. Why your grandparents' house? It was their wedding anniversary. Wow, that's a great day to have a wedding anniversary. It is, and it was a lot of fun. I got to spend time with her last few years together, having dinner with them. That sounds lovely. So, are you looking forward to maybe having a valentine next year? Maybe. We'll see. Mel and Doran discuss various valentines experiences.
So, Doran, what did you do last Valentine's Day? Last Valentine's Day, I got disappointed, I think. Because I teach at university, and I hear that Japanese students always give their teachers loads and loads of chocolate. And even though it was my fifth year, and every other year I only got like two or three, I was really excited because I'm at a university now and I got two chocolate bars. Oh, really? Oh, about you. Are you looking forward to it this year? I'm planning on going to Korea with my co-workers to escape Valentine's Day. To escape? The atmosphere, yes. You're not a fan then? I like Valentine's Day, but I don't plan on celebrating it this year. Is Valentine's Day big in England? I haven't lived in England for a while now, about 10 years. When I was a kid, it was a big deal in school, like in junior school. And we used to have a little Valentine's post box in our class when we could write little messages to our classmates. And then you put it in the box and it'd get delivered. Oh, in a box? Yeah, in a little Valentine's post box. Oh, cool. The teacher would deliver them. Did you only get notes or did you get candy as well? No, it was just notes. In England, we don't really give candy and chocolate and presents to people. We just give letters, unless it's like a boyfriend or a girlfriend or something. But when I am seven, I don't really bother. Well, the thing I liked about Valentine's Day as a kid was that you'd get Valentine's Day cards from everyone. But I was always curious to see what the boy I liked wrote to me. Do you know who wrote what to you? Yeah, they would sign their name on the card. What? They sign names? Yeah, it'd be like, Happy Valentine's Day, Adam. Oh, in England, I don't think you put your name. Even if you know who it's from, you know it's from your girlfriend or your best friend or your grandma or something. I think you just put a big question mark. Really? It's half the fun. You have to figure it out. But my favorite Valentine's Day gift is always from my mom. She gives you a gift every year? She'll send me gifts in the mail. And when I was in elementary school, she would hide chocolates and stuff in my desk. It was awesome. That's brilliant. Yeah. I don't remember getting any really, really cool Valentine's presents. I remember giving a couple. I was dating a girl who lived in Norway when I was at university in England. And so for Valentine's Day is the same. I think her birthday was February the 11th or something. Oh, yeah. So I just flew over. I emailed her best friend, who I knew quite well as well, and he picked me up at the airport and flew over to Norway. Yeah? And in Norway, it's a very safe country, so they don't really lock their doors a bit like Japan. And he just drove me down the, to the house, and I walked in at like 9 in the morning, and she just came downstairs, and she nearly died. She thought I was a ghost. <laughs> yeah, that would be scary, but fun. Scary, but fun. That's what she said when she could talk. Yeah, so it was a double birthday Valentine's Day gift. Exactly. Comfort and Encouragement 
What do we need when we have some troubles? This is comfort and encouragement. Watch the video and learn the ways we can say encouragement. Lost Wallet You look so nervous, Alice. What's wrong with you? Can I help you? Jenny, I don't know what I should do now. I don't know. I just want to cry. Calm down. Tell me, what's the problem? <laughs> This morning when I went to the market, I put my phone and wallet in my bag. I definitely remember that. But when I bought food and was about to pay, I couldn't find them. <gasps> Both your wallet and phone? Yes, I lost them. I must have forgotten to unzip the bag. What should I do now, Jenny? What's in your wallet? I don't remember. I'm so nervous now. Okay, I know. But you have to calm down first. Then everything will be solved. There are cash, elevator card, bank card, ID card too. How much cash is there? About one hundred dollars. Okay, I see. Did you lock down the bank card? And which store did you go to to buy food? I've done that. The store is near my house. The important thing now is that you don't cry. Crying won't solve anything. Okay. Should I call the police now? I think first you should go to that store and report the incident and ask them to check the camera. Do you think this shop has cameras? Now all stores have cameras to avoid some situations like yours. If you got stolen there, you'll find the culprit soon. Jenny, thank you. I'm gonna go now. Don't worry too much. Everything will be resolved. If anything happens, give me a call. Thanks. Don't make the same mistake again. What happens to you? <sighs> I see you are sad since talking to the manager. What's wrong? Yeah, nothing. Do you remember the product presentation this morning? Yes, I do. After this, I saw our boss was very angry. Yes, that's all my mistake. I forgot to check the documents that had to be sent to the partner. And then what happened? Today, they have no documents. The manager just scolded me for that carelessness. Partners complained a lot. Ah, oh, I understand. But don't worry much. Everything will be fine. I know, but I can't believe I made such a silly mistake like this. Don't blame yourself anymore, Jack. 
I should have double-checked everything. The manager trusted me so much, and I let him down. Come on, Jack. Don't be too sad. This is just an error. How stupid am I? It's also a lesson for you. Don't make such unnecessary mistakes again. Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. But surely the manager was very angry and disappointed. You're a hard-working person. Just try to do the following things carefully. You will get his trust back. I've always been confident that I'm careful at work, but... Don't say that. No one is perfect. Do you know? Yes, I know. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. You just have to try not to make that mistake again and show that you can do more. Yes. Now... You're still doing well. What happened today is just a glitch. Thanks, Alex. Thank you for encouraging me. I feel much more comfortable now. Don't mention it. A tumor. Did you go to the hospital this morning? How is it going? Yes, I did. What's wrong? You seem sad since you come back home. Is there any problem? Do you often have a sore throat? Um, Sarah? Today I went to see the doctor. He diagnosed me with a tumor in my throat. Oh my god! Is it serious? In fact, the doctor said there was no result of a malignant or benign tumor. So I don't know either. Tomorrow we'll have accurate results. Anna, don't worry too much. It will affect your health. How can I not care? At this time, you have to take care of yourself. Eat enough. Get some rest, too. Yes, I know. But I'm still nervous. I'm still young. But I'm sick. Anna, don't think like that. You have to be optimistic. It could be a benign tumor. But... What if it's a malignant tumor? Will surgery be required? No way! The first thing you have to do now is to be optimistic. Oh, okay. I know. If I remember correctly, I once read an article about this type of tumor. What did it say? They say that many people have been cured of this disease. So don't worry too much and affect your health again. Are you sure? I will be okay, right? Of course, don't worry. Medicine is also very developed. So trust me, you'll be fine. Okay. A stormy day. Hey, do you think it looks like it's going to rain? Yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's very difficult to have a day when we go camping like this. We have to accept it. It's going to rain heavily. 
There's some lightning over there. <gasps> Anna? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? I'm so scared. I'm very afraid of thunder when it rains heavily. Oh my god. Really? What happened? She told me once. Why? The reason she's afraid of lightning is that when she was a kid, she was alone at home while her parents went to work. And then? It rained heavily and thundered that day, so she was scared a lot. Since that day, I am still very scared. Poor you. I know it's weird that I'm an adult, but I'm still scared of things like this. I know that feeling. It is easy for people to be obsessed with the things they feared as children. Yeah, I was chased by a dog once when I was a kid. So, since then, I've always been afraid of dogs every time I see them. So don't be scared, Anna. We are here. That's right. You have us here. There are four people here. You are not alone. Don't worry too much. Even if there's lightning, you've got us. You will be able to face that fear and get over it. Yeah, I know I'll have to overcome my fear myself. I've tried many times, but I'm always scared every time I hear thunder. I understand. When you're with us like this, don't be afraid. Consider it normal. Thank you, all of you. I'm so happy when I have best friends like you. Calling in sick. Dad, can you please call Mr. Ronan and tell him I need two days off? Sure, son. You should use my phone to talk to him. I saved him as Mr. Ronan on my phone. Okay, give me a sec. What should I say to your boss? Just introduce yourself and be brief about my current condition. Hello, Peter. What's up? Hello, Mr. Ronan. I'm Peter's father, Morgan. I'm calling you to address that my son is sick today. He got a pretty serious flu yesterday and is currently unable to go to work for the next two days. I see. I know your son, Peter, personally, so it's okay. Do you have something that can prove your son's current condition? A piece of paper like a doctor's note, a hospital bill or something? I'm sorry if this demand is offending, but it's not me who required the confirmation. Company's policies, you see. I understand. Uh, we do have a doctor's note if you want confirmation. It's here somewhere, but we can confirm it. Thank you for your help, Mr. Morgan. And fortunately for your son, I still have time to call in your son's absence. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him soon in the office. No problem, Mr. Ronan. You don't have to worry. I will take care of him myself. By the way, can I talk to Peter, please? Let me ask him first. Please give me a sec. He wants to talk to you, Peter. I guess I can talk for a bit. My throat still hurts so bad, though. Can you get me a cup of water, please, Dad? Here, I will go get you one. Hi, Ronan, you wanna talk to me? Yeah, dude, get well soon, okay? 
If you need to extend the deadline, just let me know. Okay, boss. I will get back to work soon. Make sure to send me the doctor's note. I still need the confirmation. I talked to your dad about that. I will send that to you as soon as possible. Nice. Make sure to get the rest you need and think positive. Don't push yourself too much. And just relax, we got you covered. I don't want you to go around spreading the flu in this place anyway. I know, Ronan. I appreciate your understanding. Thank you so much, boss. You are the best. Okay, okay. Point noted. Goodbye, then. Yes, sir. How's it going, son? We're set, Dad. Uh, he talked about the doctor's note and something about it being a confirmation. Yeah, I have it here, Dad. I will send him now. All done. Now I can rest. Do you like cooking? Cooking is one of the hobbies of many people. Let's watch this video and see how people show their cooking interests. I really love cooking. Wow, the crab noodles at this restaurant are amazing! This is the best noodle I've ever eaten! That's right, Kelly! They made this very well. Do you want to order one more dish? Okay, Anna. Ah, uh, Anna, where is your boyfriend James? Why don't you take him with you? He also goes out with his friends tonight. They have a small party at a friend's house and James will cook. Does he love cooking, Anna? Yes, he loves to cook. He often cooks for me when he comes to my home. So, do you also like to cook? Yes, cooking is one of my passions. I love to cook for people at my house and they also love the food that I make. Oh, you mean you cook meals for everyone in your house? Every day? Yes, Anna. You're a really capable girl. I live alone but rarely cook. I often buy food from outside. Actually, my housemates don't know how to cook. So I have to cook for them to save money and I'm happy to cook for everyone. Have you ever made crab noodles like this? No, I've not, but after today, I think I'll try doing it at home. The taste of this noodle dish is awesome. Remember to invite me to eat with you too. I really want to try the food you make. Yes, of course, Anna. I can also make a very good beef steak. I have my own secret for the sauce of the beef dish. I love beef steak. I really want to try it. You can come to my house next week. I'll make them for you. You can also take James to come with you. Okay, Kelly, we'll definitely come. Let's surprise us. <laughs> Anna, my dishes won't make you disappointed. Oh, they're bringing our noodles here. Let's continue enjoying it. Okay, Kelly. Do you cook well? Mark, look down. Everything is so small and shimmering. The view of this rooftop is so great. The air is also so fresh and cool. You know what, Mark? The Master Chef program once set up the show at this pub. Really, Lily? 
I don't know. But I also love watching MasterChef. I'm a big fan of Gordon Ramsay. So you can cook, Mark? I'm so curious. Yes, honey, I can cook a lot of delicious dishes. When I have free time, I try to make new dishes according to online recipes. How they often are, Mark? Very good taste, honey. Can I believe it? You will always do nothing when you come to my house, and I have to prepare the meal for you. <laughs> Because you didn't ask me for help, I always cooked for myself when I was in college. All my friends compliment me on my good cooking. Really, Mark? Wow, I'm fairly surprised. If you don't believe me, you can come to my home this weekend, and I'll prepare a special meal for you. I love to cook, especially for you, my love. You're so cute, Mark. Okay, let me check your cooking ability that weekend. What dishes are you going to serve me on this day? It's a secret. I'll surprise you. Will it include my favorite dish? Of course, I know what it is. Don't worry. I'm so excited about it. I believe you, Mark. Okay. Do you want to watch a blockbuster after finishing coffee? I've watched its trailer and it's awesome. Of course, Mark. Let's go to the theater. I can't cook anything well. Enjoy your meal, Alan. Thank you for preparing dinner tonight. Wow, the dishes look so delicious and beautiful. You're welcome, Alan. Let's try this potato soup. It's fairly spicy, but I think you'll love it. No problem, Louise. I'm a big fan of spicy food. Let me see. Mmm. Wow, it's perfect for me. I love it. You're so good at cooking, Louise. Thanks, Alan. Let's eat other dishes, by the way. I really admire people who can cook well. Actually, I'm a terrible cook. Oh, really, Alan? Have you ever made something to eat? Yes, of course, but they are almost failed. I don't have a knack for cooking. Could you tell me more about this? Once I was planning to surprise my girlfriend by cooking her favorite dish, beef steak. However, I burned the whole piece of meat, and that day we had to have dinner in a restaurant near my house. <laughs> you are so clumsy, my friend. Another time, I cooked chicken soup for a close friend. Everything seemed fine until my friend tasted it. It was too salty. We had to order pizza again. <laughs> A、cooking seems to be quite difficult for you. I don't know. I've never been praised for my cooking. <laughs> I can teach you some dishes. Do you want to learn? Really, Louise? Of course. Can you teach me how to cook this potato soup first? I really love its taste. Yes, Alan. It isn't as hard as you think. I'll write the recipe for you, and you just have to follow it. No, I do not think so. I don't have the confidence to make it myself. I need you to guide me directly for once. Okay, my friend. How about tomorrow night? Are you free? Yes, I'll come to your house tomorrow to learn it. Okay, Alan. I'll let you make it, and just remind you when something goes wrong. 
I believe you can do it. Okay, let's open the TV now. It's time for my favorite program on CNN. I don't like cooking. Today's party will be very crowded. We have to wash a lot of vegetables. Yes, Luna. I heard that Kelly invited a lot of her friends and her colleagues. I wish I could hold a big party like this. Hmm. Me too. Will you participate in cooking? No, Sarah. I hate cooking. Why, Luna? I feel like cooking is a waste of time. I can buy food from the store and eat it well. So you never cook at home, right? Sometimes when I have free time. I'm quite busy with work and usually come home late. I don't have time to prepare dinner for myself. Poor you. But you know what, Luna? You should still cook it for yourself. It'll save you money, and you can take control of what you're eating. But how do that, Sarah? I'm too busy. Maybe you should find a new roommate. She'll help you prepare the meal. Or you can talk to your boss and ask him to allow you to go home early to prepare a meal. You can continue to work after eating. Great idea, Sarah. I'll talk to my boss first. Good, Luna. I believe you'll enjoy eating the food you make yourself. You can also find new dishes on the internet and try to make them. It will be very interesting. Okay, Luna. Thanks for your advice. You're welcome, my friend. Hi, Maria. It's Isabella. Hi, Isabella. What's up? There is a new pub downtown, and I wanted to ask if you want to go check it out with me tonight. A pub? Sure, but I haven't been to a pub before. I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry. I got you, and the bartender will help you choose the drink that fits your taste. So I'll meet you there at eight p.m. Is that fine? Sure. See you then. Bye. Later. Hey, Maria, over here. Hi, girls. What can I help you with today? Hi. I don't know what to order. Can you help me with the menu? Sure. Here. I highly recommend this drink, whiskey sour. It's a bourbon-based cocktail, a combination of whiskey, sugar, and lemon juice. It's my all-time favorite. I want something fresher. How about a mojito? This classic Cuban cocktail features a combination of citrus, sweet, and mint flavors to control the strong taste of rum. But I think it especially is enjoyable on a hot summer day at the pool. Maria, how about Long Island iced tea? You like iced tea, right? For those who love iced tea, this Long Island-based drink is even better. It may look like a regular glass of tea. But a mixture of vodka, rum, tequila, gin, triple sec, and cola can give it a strong taste. Or you can try lemon drop. It is the perfect combination of sweet and sour, garnished with a fun and colorful lemon twist, and sugar around the rim of the glass for extra sweetness. It's my favorite drink. They both sound tasty, but I want to see other options. What does this Bloody Mary taste like? This popular and complex beverage can be as spicy or mild as you like. Flavorings such as Tabasco sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and cayenne pepper can be added according to your preferred taste. 
That's interesting. I think I will try the spicy Bloody Mary, please. Great choice. You will love it. This is fun, right? We should do this more often. Sure, I'll try to other drinks next time. Unconsciously manipulating. Lucy, what's wrong? I just had an argument with Layla. Really? For what? Mm -hmm. It's a long story, but basically it's about her on-off relationship with Dan. Oh, cheer up. Their two will make peace soon, I know. But, Elena, do you think I'm a manipulator? Why? Layla said I was a puppet master, always wanting others to follow what I say. No, not that bad. You may just unconsciously want to manipulate. Unconsciously? Yes, it can be a bad habit that you don't even realize. But do I really do that? Okay, so do you often get involved in others' relationships or influence their decisions? Yes, but I just give them advice. They come to me, don't they? Sure, but if they don't listen to you, will you get mad? Yeah. So, are you mad at Layla for some reason? Yeah, you're right. You see, this habit can badly affect relationships. Yeah, but she came to me every single time they broke up. Should I not give her advice? Yes. She might just need someone to share when she gets emotional, not to be told what to do. Hmm. I've never thought of that way. Let people manage their own lives, and if they fail, let them fail on their own. What if they ask for advice? Of course. Feel free to express your opinion, but don't get mad if they don't follow your advice. Thanks, Mia. I will try to get rid of this habit. Emotional Explosion Emma, you look so sad. What happens? I just had a fight with my boyfriend. Did he say something hurtful? No, actually me who did that. Really? Yeah, I was angry, then I said some really bad things to him. It's okay. I think he won't hold it against you. I know, but I feel disappointed in myself. Are you regretting it now? Yeah, I'm such hot-tempered. I shouldn't say those things. The thing is, do you want to change? Yes. I think I may have had this habit for too long. It's so easy to lose control. Don't let your anger get the best of you and regret it later. What should I do now? Firstly, you should make peace with him. I will. Secondly, next time something sets you off, keep your mouth shut before you say anything. That's very difficult. Just leave the room, take three deep breaths, and think about what you're feeling. So, going away first? Yeah, think about the best way to handle the situation. That's so mature of you to talk about things like this. I'm just talking from personal experience. Been there, done that. <gasps> really? Did you have an emotional explosion too? Yes. I hurt many relationships because of that bad habit. Then, I decided to change. I didn't know that. 
In my mind, you're always a very calm person. Well, practice makes perfect. Try the things I told you. Yes, I will. Thanks a lot for the advice. <laughs> Delay taking action. Lily, what are you doing? Uh, nothing much. I'm looking at my goal lists. Oh, the one you made at the end of the year? Yes. How much have you achieved until now? It may be ridiculous, but nothing. What? Seriously? Yeah. But why? I don't know. I still look at the list every day and dream about the day when I achieve them. Oh, so you mean you're just thinking about the success but not doing anything? Yeah. Now, when you mention it, I realized it's true, though. Many people make this mistake, too having big dreams, but they never step toward their ambitions. But you know, sometimes I feel like there are so many things to do, I don't even know where to start. That's why you need an action plan and follow it, not just saying, I have a dream. Action plan? Yes. The important thing is that you need a detailed action plan with deadlines. Why deadlines? You won't be able to accomplish anything without deadlines. You're right. Until now, I just keep thinking about what if I succeed, but not about doing the thing. You know what? The hardest part is the beginning. It takes a lot of courage to start. Yeah, but what if you are demotivated? Remember this. Only when you take action, you will get closer to success. Yes. So, it's about action, and not about motivation at all. No need for motivation? Inspiration? It's good if you have, but if not, say to yourself, just do it. Thanks a lot for those wide words, Jane. Material happiness. Hey, what are you thinking about, Tony? You look so lost. Uh, nothing. Are you happy with your life now? <laughs> Why so suddenly? Of course I am. I'm just thinking about happiness, though. What's wrong? You know... When I had nothing, all I tried was to work harder and harder and to get closer to success. Yes, you did work so hard. Now when I had somehow achieved a bit, I still don't feel happy. Hmm. I think you are seeking the meaning of life, aren't you? Yeah, kind of. I was happy when I bought my first house. My first car. But then, no feeling anymore. Sure, what gives your life meaning? It's not the car, the house, money. But the people that love you, the experiences you gain, and the passions that expire you. Yeah, I kind of regret of focusing too much on material things before. What did you think before? Before, I just focused on making money, expanding my source of income, things like that. Were you happy back then? To be honest, I don't know. I spent the whole time working and trying to reach success. I think you should discover meaning elsewhere. Elsewhere? I mean, not only from material things or money, but from the smallest things around you. Such as from your relationships or diving deeper into your interests. Yeah, I should learn how to be happy again. Happiness is within you, Tony. It's not hard to find happiness as you think. 
Thanks, Peter. A health problem. Abdul and Sally are talking about their illness experience and their ways to keep themselves healthy. So, what is the most serious illness you have ever experienced in your life? I would like to talk about a car accident that happened to me a few years ago and resulted in serious injury- injuries. Oh, really? How was it? It was a horrible experience that I would not want to relive. Oh dear. Tell me what happened, please. My family was driving home when a big truck crashed into our passenger side. <laughs> After the accident, I blacked out and was transported to the hospital. When I regained consciousness, I discovered that I had five broken bones, several ruptures, and many cuts and bruises. Did you have any treatments after that? To restore the collarbone and leg bone, I had to go through operations, during which metal rods were put onto these bones to fix them. Not surprisingly, I was in severe pain. So physicians prescribed me to take painkillers and other medicines for a couple of weeks. <sighs> How long did it take you to recover? During my recovery, I wasn't able to walk properly and my life then was very difficult. But after several months of proper treatment and physical therapy, I fully recovered. Does your life change a lot after? I even took up karate soon after. Although the illness was definitely not a pleasant experience, I am very happy and grateful that now I am healthy. Probably, I learned to value health and become stronger. Wow, luckily you are healthy now. Yes, I think so as well. What about you? Did you experience a lot of illness? Well, I guess I will tell you about one memorable experience. It happened a few months ago when I had the flu coupled with a sore throat. <coughs> what happened? <coughs> a week before it happened, I was so stressed with work. I had stayed up late night in the night in the office to meet several deadlines. A lack of sleep and I couldn't also eat on time. Oh, you must have been really tired. My body started to feel weak, I started to have slight fever and colds. I knew it was going to be bad because I was having headaches and severe muscle and body aches. I also started to have a dry cough and my throat hurt. Did you go see the doctor? It lasted for about a week. I went to see a doctor so I could get the right prescription. I was advised to have bed rest for a few days. I was not able to report to work for a week. Luckily, I have already finished all of my deadlines before it happened, but it had still affected my life because I had failed to do my daily routine. I also asked my mom to take care of me since I lived alone. When I went back to work, there was a huge pile of paperwork waiting on my desk. How is the healthcare system in your country? Costa Rica is actually a pretty healthy country. We have one of the only five blue zones in the world, which are these areas where, because of their lifestyle, population frequently reaches a hundred years or more. Is that one good signal about your country? But unsurprisingly, one of the major health problems that we face is obesity because our modern lives are so frequently making us sedentary and working in office spaces and in closed rooms. Especially under the current conditions, we tend to become overweight. That's true. Keeping a healthy lifestyle is not a priority for a lot of people, especially because they have very busy routines. 
You know, that being said, it is important to keep a healthy lifestyle. And it's one of those problems that the entire world seems to be facing. At the moment, I don't belong to a gym, but I go jogging. Usually I go jogging four times a week, and I also go in the morning because for me it's the best time to exercise. Because it keeps me awake all day, but at the moment I don't do any other exercise. Wow, just the running. Just the running. So what do you do to keep fit? Many things, but I think discipline is one of the most important things. You need to be a disciplined person. Is it hard to become a disciplined person? A little bit disciplined person. But saying that it's not hard to be disciplined because you do things that you like to do, for example, I do yoga, and I enjoy yoga. So every day I get up in the morning and I do an hour of yoga, and this is very good for your body. Well, so basically, one of the pillars of your way of staying healthy is to have the discipline to exercise regularly. But it doesn't have to be strenuous, just little things. A little bit of exercise every day. Something simple, something easy. Something you like to do. Whether it's walking, or whether it's riding your bicycle to work instead of taking the subway, or yeah, doing some yoga. I guess you are a sporty person, is that right? Not really, just a little bit of exercise a few days a week, and it will help you stay fit and healthy. Do you have a healthy diet? Reasonably healthy. I'm semi-vegetarian, so I don't eat meat. I only eat fish, and I eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Have you ever eaten fast food? Well, I also like my junk food, and usually once a day I eat either potato chips or cake. So yeah, I have a balanced diet. What kind of fruits do you like to eat? Well, I like all fruits. I love all fruits except pineapple. I hate pineapple. I don't know why. I just don't like pineapple. I don't like the taste. I don't like to chew it. It just feels funny. But I love apples. I love bananas. I love oranges. I usually have an apple every morning for breakfast. It's very easy to eat. And I just love apples because you can take them to school. You can eat them quickly. They're very easy to eat. Me too. I also like oranges. And I love orange juice. So sometimes I make fresh orange juice in my kitchen. And I love to eat bananas and strawberries together. So my favorite snack is to cut up some bananas and then cut up some strawberries and mix them together and then eat them. Well, it sounds like you really do like a lot of fruits. Oh yeah, I do. Questions and answers by topic. How do you answer these familiar questions in life? Let's learn about them through conversations below. Family. Bye, Dad. Is he your dad? Right, he is young, isn't he? Yes, what is his job? My dad is a dentist. He is a clinic in the center of our city. That's great. How about your mother? She is a teacher. What subject does she teach? She teaches history. Oh, that's why you are so good at history. Maybe. How many members are there in your family? Just three of us. Oh, really? There are five members in my family. Do you have other two sisters or brothers? I have an older brother and a younger sister. Restaurant Henry, where is your mom? Mom? She said she had an important meeting. 
So who will prepare our dinner? I don't know, Dad. Mom said that we could stay at home to take care of ourselves. What? We don't know how to cook. How about going out for dinner, Dad? That's a great idea. What do you want to eat? I want to go to a pizza restaurant. Ah, oh, pizza. Not bad. Yes, the new pizza restaurant was opened last week. Good. So let's go, Dad. Wait for me a minute. We have to lock the door. Okay. Books. Oh, is this To Kill a Mockingbird? That's right. Do you know that? Of course. I'm a big fan of books. Aw, I love this book so much. I've already read this book three times. It's really amazing. What kind of books do you like? Actually, I like all kinds of books, from novels, nonfiction books, to comic books. Yeah, so do I. We have a lot in common. Ah, I am finding some other versions of this book. Do you know where to sell it? I know an old bookstore that usually has a lot of special versions of books. Wow! Where is it? Do you want to go there? Sure! Can we go now? Okay. Travel How was your trip to Japan? I saw a lot of pictures on your Facebook. It's really great. Japan is an amazing country. <laughs> you look so happy when you are talking about Japan. Yeah, you know, I fell in love with Japan. I love everything here. Such a successful trip. Right? I think traveling is my hobby now. You can discover a lot of things in other countries. Exactly. I think next time I will capture my trip with a vlog. Good idea. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm a vlogger. That's fun. Where will be your next destination? Let me see. Germany is my choice. German? It's a beautiful country. I'm sure you will love it. Website. Ugh, I'm so boring. I don't know what to do now. Hmm, you can access some websites to surf. I don't usually use websites to entertain. Could you recommend some of them for me? Sure. If you want to watch films, I suggest the website Netflix.com. Oh, I have known about it. And if you want to update the news or information, you can access some websites such as Facebook.com or YouTube. Oh, they are very popular all over the world. That's right. They attract millions of monthly visits. Oh, maybe because I don't pay much attention to these websites. I think they can help you keep up with the world. But you must use them in control. Do you mean I shouldn't use them too much? Right. Accident. What happened to you? Why do you look so sad? I have seen an accident. What? An accident? Where? It was near our house. I saw it on my way to go home. Did you see the whole accident? Actually, no. When I came, it just happened. How? An accident between a motorbike and a car. I don't know why it happened. How about the people? Did they injure? The people in the car just had some small problems. And the one in the motorbike? He was taken to the hospital. Oh, so the accident is so terrible. 
Right? We need to be careful every time. Childhood Memory This picture brings me to my childhood memory. Can I see it? Of course, here. Who are you? I can't realize who you are. The girl on the left. Aw, you look so cute. Thanks. Other people were my best friends when I was a child. All of you look so happy. Right. This picture was taken when we had a chance to go to the beach together. But did you go alone? Of course not. We went with our family. Oh, so you were neighbors, weren't you? Yes. We all lived in a small village in the countryside. I admire your friendship. Favorite rooms. Your new house is so beautiful. Thank you for your compliment. I will arrange everything to be cleaner. I really love your bedroom. I put a lot of effort to decorate it. I know, everything is perfect in my eyes. What thing do you like most? Your bookshelf? It's so big and modern. I haven't seen such a bookshelf like that before. But in my house, I like the kitchen most. Why? You know, it's so modern. My mom bought a lot of modern devices for this. For example? Dishwashing machine, oven, cooker hood. Wow, I'm sure they cost her a lot of money. I do think so. Presents. What are you thinking about? Oh, Anna, tomorrow is my mother's birthday. Have you bought presents for her? Not yet. I'm thinking about that. Do you have any idea? Let me see. A birthday present for mom? Right! Oh! Why don't you buy perfume for her? No, my mom has a collection of perfumes. I don't think it's a good idea. What does she do in her free time? Shopping or going to the cafe. Uh, sometimes she reads. Yeah, she reads books? How about books? Great! A book is the best option. Do you know what kind of books she usually reads? Yes, she likes novels. That's great. So just buy it now. Historical Place Have you ever visited some historical places? Yes, I have. I visited the Taj Mahal in India. How is it? I have to say, that is a great place. When did you visit it? Last year, when I had a trip to India with my family. I have heard a lot about this place, but I still haven't had the chance to see it. After visiting this place, I am really into some historical places. I am also interested in them. I find it interesting to know about the history and the symbol of these places. Right? I searched for information on the internet about some famous historical places. What are they? Angkor Wat, the Great Wall of China, Stonehenge in England. That's so many. I wish I could visit all of them. Newspaper. Magazine. What are you reading? My favorite magazine. What is this name? Women's Day. Oh, I know it. It's very famous. 
How often do you read newspapers or magazines? To be honest, I rarely read them. Why? I think it's interesting. You can update a lot of news. I prefer watching the news on television. Oh, I got it. My dad also likes watching the news. I think it's more convenient. Both of them are fine. A memorable event. Have you ever had such a memorable event in your life? Of course, I have a lot of them. Can you tell me the nearest one? Maybe. It was a surprise party that my friends held for me. For what occasion? That party's to say goodbye to me studying abroad one year ago. Wow. How did you feel? I cried at the moment because I was so surprised and emotional. They loved me very much. They are your good friends. Right? We had a lot of fun that day, took a lot of memorable pictures. Do you miss them? Sure, we still call each other regularly. That's great. Decorating the room. Interior decoration is an extremely interesting topic in daily life. Everyone has a passion for decorating their own house. Let's watch the video to see conversations about interior decoration. Situation 1. Decorate a new apartment. Sophia, the new apartment will be available in a month. I think it's time for us to discuss the interior design. Joe, I was going to tell you. These days, I have been looking at many different designs online. Here are some styles I feel interested in. Okay, show me what you've got. So, this is a modern style with kind of white plain walls, a darker color tone for furniture, and a lot of glasses and marble flooring. To be honest, it looks great. I love simplicity. However, we plan to have a baby in the near future, so do you think we should try something a little bit softer? You are right. How about this? Traditional style with a neutral color tone with floral patterns. Looks a bit old-fashioned to me. You like this style, don't you? Um... Not really. I just like the cozy feeling. So do I. I prefer something that makes me feel at home. Any other options that are both modern and cozy? Yes, this one. What do you think? It still looks simple and modern, but a lot cozier with a warmer color. Light gray or brownie is trending this year. I like this one, especially the wooden flooring. We can use it for bedrooms. Very affordable. I want to have carpet in the living room. Alright, how about the kitchen? I want material that is easy to clean and waterproof. Right, how about the color? I'm into brown or beige colors like this one. Me too. In short, our taste is modern but cozy. Neutral brown beige tone. Then, I think wooden furniture will be an excellent match. Sure, I will note it down. We will discuss a detailed design tomorrow, okay? Yes, I will do more research. Situation 2. Decorating the room for a baby girl. Hi Anna, how are you? Hi, Kate. I'm great. And you? Come in. Are you back from work just now? I'm good. And yes, I haven't seen you for months. Too busy with the new job. Today, I remember that you will be in labor in over a month, so I tried to leave work early today to visit you. So nice of you. 
Come and take a sit. Don't mind my messy place. We are redecorating a bedroom for my little one. Oh, really? How is it going? It must be the cutest room in the house. We have just started recently. How is your plan for the baby girl's room? We always like minimalism, you know? So the room style will match with other rooms also. Three walls are light brown and one wall is white. The floor will be covered with beige carpet and a white fur rug. Nice! That's very modern and cute at the same time. What are there in the room? I can see the crib over there. I try to only put necessary kinds of stuff. There will be a crib, a medium-sized wardrobe for clothes, and a small cabinet for things like diapers or little things for the baby, all in white. Wait, you mentioned one white wall before that, right? Why only one? Good question. <laughs> I intended to put a huge wooden shelf that has the size of the whole wall. What is it for? For children's books and toys, and for decorating purposes also. I think books and toys are very colorful, so they will be stand out on the white wall. Very unique idea. My friends usually spend the wall on cute stickers. I also decorate other walls with cute pictures of animals, but also in a minimalism style. Ah, I forgot to mention a chair. That's all. Have you bought all those furniture? Yes, I have. Not many, though. The only thing that takes time is painting in the big shelf. Sounds like a very lovely room. Remember to send me a photo when you finish the room. Sure, I will. English Conversations in Real Life Do you prefer using cash or credit cards? Jane, I think I need to go withdraw money now. Why? You can use credit cards, can't you? I can, but I still want to have a little cash in my hand, just in case. Okay, do you prefer using cash or credit cards? I prefer using credit cards over cash, of course. Why? It is easier and safer to carry credit cards over cash. That's right, much easier, much safer. You know, I lost my wallet twice. I can ask banks to create my new card, but cash is lost forever. I always put cash in the pocket coat and forget them all. <laughs> is your writing beautiful? What are you doing, Matt? I'm writing a Christmas card. Really? Who will you send it for? Lily. Who is Lily? She is one of my classmates. She always helps me to do my exercises. Can I have a look at it? Here you are. I tried my best. Wow, your handwriting is so great. Thanks, Daddy. Is your handwriting beautiful? I don't think so. Yours is better. I have never seen it before. Do you want to write a Christmas card with me? Can I? Yes. I will help you to make one and then you can write on it. Thanks, my boy. Are you a tidy person? Hi, this is Jack. Hi Jack, I'm Kyle. I got your message about a room for rent. Are you still interested in it? Yes, I am. I just wonder if I could ask you some questions. Are you a tidy person? To be honest, I'm not a highly organized person, but I'm a pretty neat person. I do love keeping my place tidy. Great. Are you a party animal? No, I'm an introvert, and I'm a quiet person. 
perfect. Do you smoke? I used to, but at the moment, not. Excellent. Uh, do you have any questions? There is a parking lot, right? Yes. Perfect. I will take it. When are you ready to move in? This weekend, if it's okay. No problem. I've read that book many times. Hey, sorry I'm late. That's fine, no worries. What are you doing? I'm reading the book. Can I take a look at it? Sure. To Kill a Mockingbird, this is a good book. Is it? Have you read it? I've read that book many times. Really? It's the first time I read this one. Yeah, it must be twice or three times. It must be an extremely impressive one. Absolutely. I read it the first time when I was 18 years old. Do you feel everything differently after reading it many times? Yes. Each time I read it again, I have my own different feeling. I'm nearly on the fence. Phoebe, why are you calling me at this time? You must have been on the plane now. I was late for my flight. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. What happened? Even you know you should be at the airport one hour in advance. My clock is death, and the traffic was super terrible. Oh my, what are you going to do now? I'm really on the fence. I don't know what I need to do now. Okay, calm down. Are there any other flights today? No, it is the last flight to Chicago today. Oh my. I think I will take an early flight tomorrow morning. I'm in debt. Hi, Lena. Good morning. What's up? You look really not good. I'm so stressed out now. Come on. You can tell me what happened. Maybe I can help. I'm in debt. Why? Is it a big debt? I'm a shopaholic. I bought designer clothes and accessories that I can't afford. You can try to pay it by credit card. I have even two credit cards, but all of them are maxed up. Oh, it's quite serious. I don't know what I should do now. I think you should stop shopping right away. Of course. I don't even have money to do it. And save money from salary to get out of debt first. I know the interest from banks is a bit high. Keep silent, please. Mommy, mommy, look what I have. Shh, keep silent, please. You can wake the baby up. Okay, I see. Sorry, mom. Sorry, little Leo. What do you have, sweetie? I made it by myself, look! What is it? It's a Superman cloak! I made it for Leo! Wow, you are a good brother, but Leo is not able to play Superman with you yet. I know, I just made it in case when he grows up, he can become a Superman immediately! Good boy. Do you think he wants to be a Superman or a Spider-Man? He may like Superman. Perfect! I 
I don't feel so good. Henry, today I didn't see you running in the park. Yeah, I didn't feel so good, so I prefer to have a day off. What happened to you? Do you feel better now? No worries, I'm still okay. I think because yesterday I rode my bike in the rain without a raincoat. Oh my, you may have a cold. Do you get a headache? No, I'm just a bit tired. Take care of your health. You should go to the hospital immediately if you have a fever. Yeah, I see. It's so kind of you. I have free time today. I will buy you some fresh fruits. Thank you. What do I wear? Hey, where are you going? I'm going to have an interview today. What's up? What are you wearing? What do I wear? A normal skirt with a jacket. Are you kidding me? You should wear formal clothes to take part in an interview. So what should I wear now? Do they require a dress code? No. So you should wear a shirt and don't overdo the jewelry. Okay. What time is your interview? 3 p.m. Okay, so you have one hour to change your clothes. Got it, thank you. She's really good at drawing. I want to decorate this wall with a picture. Have you had any idea yet? I want to have a hand drawing picture there. That's a great idea. I'm looking for an experienced artist to do it. Do you know anyone? I think yes. I have a friend in my yoga class. Is she good at drawing? Yes, she's really good at drawing. Cool. She'd sold some pictures drawing by herself. Perfect. Can you send me her contact so I can discuss it with her? Sure. Do you have a good memory? Excuse me? Hi. I think I got lost. Do you know where the visitor center is? Yes, I do, but it's a bit far out from here. Please, can you tell me the way over there? Turn left in the corner of this trail, then turn right at the Mill Creek. Okay. Then follow the main trail and turn left twice in a row. Great. Thank you. Hey, Russell, should we write it down? No, it's not really complicated. I don't think so. Do you have a good memory? I think, yes. I will try my best to remember his direction. Okay, I will believe in you. How do you feel when the weather changes? I heard that tomorrow there is the first snow of this year. Oh my gosh! I love seeing snow falling! How do you feel when the weather changes? I always feel fresh when the weather changes. Like there's going to be a new me. That's great. How about you? I sometimes feel under the weather. Why? Is it coming up to the winter holiday season? I always get sick when the weather changes. I have a sensitive nose. Oh, so you must hate winter so much. Not really. I still like the winter holiday. I just need to keep my body warm. I was 
very impressed by your letter. Hi, are you Chris? Yes, I'm Chris. You are Tina, right? Nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too. I was very impressed by your letter. Thank you so much. I'm so excited about the meeting today with you. Me too. I thought it would be very awkward, but look, we look like we know each other for a long time. Kind of. We are pen pals for a long time. I'm happy that we have many common things. Yeah. When I knew we have common hobbies, I was so surprised. I can't believe that we can keep our friendship for years. It's amazing. When did you learn to ride a bike? Do you want to go to the park with me this weekend? Sure. Do you want to ride a bike also? That's a great idea. I would love it. When did you learn to ride a bike? I don't remember clearly. It was when I was five years old. And you? I only learned riding when I was seven years old. Who taught you? My grandpa. I lived with him until I was 12 years old. And you? My childhood friend. Oh, that's super cool. He had a super cool bike. Then I asked him to teach me. You should make a list before going shopping for food. Mommy, I'm home. Let's see, what do you buy? I bought all the necessary for our menu today. What do you have? Beef for beef steak, apple for apples pies, vegetable for salads, and all the ingredients. Well done. Let's start. We will start with the beef. Okay. Can you give me several garlic cloves? Oh my, did I forget to buy garlic? You should make a list before going shopping for food. What should I do now? Okay, we can use rosemary sprigs only today. What to do in your free time is a simple and very familiar topic. However, in this video, we will learn a few other aspects about the topic of free time and how to express it in English. What do you do in your free time? Laura, over here. Hi, Bella, how are you? Never better, and you? I'm good. Have you been waiting for me for long? No, I just came. Did you come here straight from work? Yes, a long day, you know. You look so tired. Well, of course. Who is not tired of after nine to five? True, but I haven't worked nine to five for so long, I forgot that feeling. You won't want to get back? Yep. But how does your day go? Well, I start a normal morning by working up at 7 a.m. Washing my face, brushing my teeth, having breakfast at home, and going to work at 8 a.m. Yeah, a typical morning, right? Yes, simple one. You prefer to have breakfast at home, don't you? Yes, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I will buy breakfast on the way to work. Yeah, and then? Work finishes at 5 p.m. I leave work and go to the supermarket to buy food for dinner. Wow, then cook, wash dishes, have a shower. Does it eat up all your free time in the evening? No, actually my free time is from 8 to 10.30 p.m. What do you do during those two hours and a half? It depends on my mood, but normally I watch movies and listen to music. And not normal? I learned something new. Wow, you deserve respect. 
Why not? For example, learn how to sing, draw, lots of different interesting things to learn. You're right. But to be honest, whenever someone mentions learning or studying, I feel tired. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Do you go to sleep at 10.30 p.m.? Yes, but like 15 minutes before sleep time, I usually read a book. How do you feel about that life routine? Sometimes I feel a bit boring, but I'm also feeling thankful because I still have time for myself. You're right! Enjoy this precious time. You may not have much free time when you get married and have kids. Aw oh man, that future is still too far for me. <laughs> I know, I just mean enjoy the moment. Thanks. What do you do when you have too much free time? Hi, I'm Hannah. Thank you for coming to our podcast today. Hi, Hannah. It's so nice to be here today. Before we start our podcast, I want to introduce our guest today, Skylar Howell. Skylar, can you introduce a bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Skylar. I'm working as a freelancer and have achieved some great success with my work, making nearly 400,000 last year. That's very impressive, though. However, today we won't go deep about your success story, but we want to talk about your time management. Okay, interesting. I've heard many successful freelancers say that they have the same problem, which is that they overwork and mess up their timetable and health. Oh yeah, I guess as a freelance, sooner or later, you will have to face that issue. So, how about you? I used to have that period when everything was overwhelming, and it affected my health a lot. How about now? Now, I never work more than 30 hours a week, and I have a lot of free time for myself. And still generating income? Yes, definitely. By building a system and having people work for you. As you mentioned, you have a lot of free time. Do you feel boring? Of course not. If you know how to fill up your free time in the right way... How do you do that? First, pick up a hobby or skill that you want to invest a lot of your time into. Hobby or skill? Yes. For example, even when my work contains a lot of writing, I still write a lot in my free time. Why? Because I love writing, and it doesn't feel like I'm working. And you see, what I write down can eventually benefit me one day. Yeah. Do you have any other hobbies? Yes. I enjoy gardening. Oh, well, that's a great hobby. Yes. Now I have a small garden full of flowers and trees. It's beautiful. Okay. Any other way to fill up your free time? Cooking? I have a lot of time to cook, so why would I not make myself delicious meals, right? I have to admit that spending hours in the kitchen making something nice is very satisfying. Yeah. Also, I'm a fan of video games. You know, do anything as long as it makes you happy. Yeah. How about YouTube and Netflix? I mean, yeah, if you love watching things on those platforms, that's fine. Don't you like it? No, I'm not a fan because it's really wasting time if you have no control of yourself. Yeah, true. Is there anything else you want to share with us today? Yes, the final one is having too much free time isn't really a bad thing. Enjoy it while it lasts and make use of it in a way that makes you feel happy. Thanks a lot for joining us today. We really appreciate it. How much leisure time do you give yourself per day? What are you thinking about, Joe? Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to replan my life. So, how's it going? Uh, not that great. 
Basically, I'm trying to fix my daily routine. What's wrong with it now? I'm not very productive. Okay, you're trying to make a daily schedule or what? No, I'm thinking about how much leisure time I should give myself per day. Have you figured it out? Not yet. Something is not right, so I'm kind of confused. To me saying, oh, I have two free time hours. What should I do today to fit that two hour is so weird. Yeah, true. So, any suggestions? I think you overthink a bit. For me, leisure time can be any time I feel relaxed, like having coffee before work in the morning. Yes, but I want to be a bit stricter to myself, you know? In that case, you should schedule a day depending on what the priorities of that day are. Priorities? Yes, then finish them. The time left is your free time. Easy. Sounds nice, though. Right? It's a flexible plan as well, because some days when I need my work done, I can have no free time. And some days you can just lay down chilling for like five hours, right? Exactly, because the goal is being productive, right? As long as you finish what you need to do, you can relax for the rest of the day. Wow, thanks a lot, Mary. Super nice idea you have, and really reasonable. Not at all. I'm just saying from my personal experience. That color looks good on you. Mommy, I'm looking for a new dress for my prom. Do you have a favorite one yet? I like this one. It is so pretty, isn't it? Wow, it looks so fabulous. But are you sure you will wear a black dress to your prom? Why not, Mommy? It will make me look mysterious. What about a red dress? Red color? I don't think so. That color looks good on you. Could you recommend one to me? How about that? It looks good, but... It's better to go to the store and try it on. I will take you there tomorrow. Wonderful. Thanks, Mom. What's the weather like today? Honey, don't forget to clean our car today. Mm-mm. I think we shouldn't. It's not today. You know, it is a bit dirty. The wheel is full of mud. It is going to be dirty immediately after cleaning because of the rain. What is the weather like today? There is supposed to be heavy rain from this afternoon to the weekend. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I hate raining. But the weather is a bit cooler. Not too hot anymore. We are going camping this weekend. I was so excited. What a pity. Next week the weather will be better. Okay, we can go then. What a good idea. Do you have any plans for our sleeping party? I'm still looking for some fun games. Do you have any ideas? I like board games. We can play Monopoly or Risk. How about you? I don't know how to play Risk. I can teach you. Or we can play Uno. What a good idea! I like Uno! Me too. I always play with my sibling after dinner. No way! You must be a formidable opponent. Not really. The older brother always is the winner. I also have a PS4. 
Oh, that's perfect. I'm so excited about next Friday. So do I. 100%. Buying a t-shirt. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. I'm looking for a t-shirt. It's for yourself or for a gift? I want to buy a t-shirt for my dad. We have many models for males over there. They are all new models for the season. Let me take a look. Sure. Hmm, I would like to take that t-shirt. But does it have the size? My dad has large shoulders. Yes, they have small, medium, and large. And extra large is a special size, so it's a bit more expensive. Normally, his t-shirt size is extra large. So, I think I will take the extra large size. Okay. Please check the seams, neckband, and hem before leaving because we don't have a return good policy. Okay. What does he look like? Jenny, I have surprising news for you. What is it? I have a boyfriend. Really? Oh, congrats! Who is he? He is a senior in my dancing club. Perfect! What does he look like? He is tall and thin. He has an oval face with blonde hair and deep blue eyes. He seems like Justin Bieber. <laughs> I hope to one day see him. Sure. He also wants to meet you because you're my best friend. What is his personality like? He is a funny guy and caring and thoughtful. How long have you known him? For six months, I think. We take part in multiple competitions together. Aw, that's so romantic. I'm happy for you. What is your major? Come in. Hi, I'm Kella. I have an interview appointment today at 9. I hope that I'm not too late. Good morning. No, you are on time. I'm Joe, your interviewer. Nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you. I checked your resume. You have a bachelor's degree? What is your major? My major is in economics and management. Great. What is your strength? I'm passionate, hardworking, honest, and initiative. I'm able to work in a team. Do you have experience in the same role before? Yes, I do. I used to be in administration in an international company for over two years. Great. I have a small test to know more about you. Please complete it in 45 minutes. Sure. I'm sorry for being late. I'm sorry for being late. Freddy, why are you always late? Do you know how it has a bad effect on everyone? I'm so sorry. My house is a bit far from the company. It takes an hour to go here. It's not the problem. Yes, it's my fault. 
I'll never do it again. Freddy, everyone has their own problem. We need to weather the storm. Yeah, I understand. If you are still getting late next time, I will give you a penalty note. Absolutely. I'm so sorry again. Come back to your seat. Don't forget to submit the report today. Sure. I hope your wife will be better soon. Gems, I heard that your wife is in the hospital now. Yes, she just had an operation last week. What happened with her? She got in a car accident on the way to work. Oh my gosh. Her leg was broken, and she was unconscious immediately. It sounds serious. Yeah, luckily she was taken to the hospital on time. Thank God. I hope your wife will be better soon. Thank you. She is better now. When will she be discharged from the hospital? We haven't had an exact day. Hopefully next week. When she comes home, please let me know. I want to visit her. Sure. Thank you for your concern. Would you like some tea? Morning, Rachel. Good morning, Cliff. Would you like some tea? Uh, yes, please, and more sugar, please. Sure, but sugar is not good for your health. Yeah, I know, but it's my habit. How was the meeting yesterday? I haven't got any updates. It went well. I think our project is going to be allowed. That's a piece of good news. When should we start? Not yet. We need to wait for the final decision. Okay, I see. Thank you. Oh, this tea is so aroma. Yeah, I bought them on my business trip to Japan last month. This is one of the best teas I've ever tried. Have you read this book? Lucas, I'm going to buy a book for Lisa's birthday. Do you know what kind of book she likes? She likes romance books. Do you have any suggestions? Hmm. Give a few seconds. Sure. What about Wuthering Heights? Well, she had one. Do you have anything else? How about The Notebook? I have never heard about it before. It is a famous one. Really? Have you read this book? Yes, absolutely. What is it about? The notebook tells the tale of a local mill worker, Noah Calhoun, and vacationing rich girl, Allie Hamilton. It sounds interesting. If she likes romance books, it's a good option. Oh, okay, thanks, Lucas. I will take a look at it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.